This video is part of the lecture Plant Breeding in a Modern World in the scope of the course Applied Genetics at the University of Ostra. Narrow sense heritability is a measure of the relative additive genetic variance to the total phenotypic variance in the population. Same as broad sense heritability, narrow sense heritability also varies between 0 and 1. When it is close to zero, it means that most phenotypic variation in the population is due to environmental, but also non-additive genetic effects. And when it is close to one, it means that most observed phenotypic variation in the population is due to additive genetic variants. To be able to estimate narrow sense heritability, we need first to separate the additive, heritable, from the non-additive, non-heritable genetic effects. One way to do this is to compare the phenotypic resemblance between a parent and their offspring. Because a parent transmits one allele per locus to their offspring, any phenotypic resemblance between the parent and the offspring population would be due to additive genetic effects, provided that there are no confounding environmental effects. If we simply plot the relation between the phenotypes of the parent and the offspring, we obtain a parent-offspring regression. So narrow sense heritability would be twice the slope of this regression. Twice is because the offspring only inherits half the genes from one parent, the other half coming from the other parent. A parent-offspring regression with a steep slope means that there is high heritability of the trait. And if we know the phenotype of the parent, we can easily and reliably predict the offspring phenotype. Whereas a flat slope means that the trait has low heritability in the studied population, and we cannot reliably predict the offspring phenotype simply by knowing the parent's phenotype. Another way to measure heritability is to estimate the response of a population to artificial selection. Let's say that we want to increase the size of the carrots we are growing in the field. First, we will weigh all the carrots that we currently have so that we can calculate the mean carrot weight and its variance. If we want bigger carrots, we can apply mass selection and only use the seed of the biggest carrots in the field for the next season. So we set a threshold value. Any carrot smaller than this value gets eaten and all those bigger than this value are planted the next year. This cutoff threshold value is called the selection intensity. If we choose a high value, the selection intensity will be high, and if we choose a low value, selection intensity will be low. When these seeds will grow into new carrots the following year, each carrot is again measured to calculate the mean weight and variance in the population after selection. The difference between the mean in the field in the first year, before selection, and the mean weight of the carrots in the second year, after selection, is called response to selection. If the difference is big, then the response to selection is high, and if the difference is small, the response to selection is small. This response is obviously proportional to the intensity of selection, and the coefficient of proportionality is none other but the narrow sense heritability. Otherwise put, heritability tells us how well a population will respond to a given selection intensity and can also be expressed as the response to selection relative to the selection intensity we have applied. If the response to selection is high, even when intensity selection is low, then the trait has high heritability. Inversely, if the response to selection is low, even when selection intensity is high, then the heritability of the trait is low and other techniques might be used to improve its yield, such as improving the environmental conditions.